Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how we actually embed some, not just the code, but how we tell MailChimp that we want it to do, redirect our visitors back to our own custom thank you page when they are finished completing their form instead of following the default MailChimp activity. And part of the reason is because in our funnel plan, if you recall, we had all of our activities end at the thank you page. By getting our users to this thank you page, we are able then to track how many actually came to our site, ended up at our sign up page, and then actually signed up. Because if they get to the thank you page, it means that they filled out that form and it redirected them to this thank you page, meaning it was complete by comparison to just getting to the sign up page and then not doing anything. So by default, let me just go to the site that I'm working on. This is the form that I had created. If I go in and fill this out and add information to my list, and yes, I am just using my cat's name. We'll say it was up at my house at St. Stephen. And if we want to pay attention here, I'm going to say the spot. it was spotted on April Fool's Day. And I'll just put a little comment. If I hit submit your sighting, all it's going to do by default is just bring you to this little thank you for subscribing. That's all it's going to tell your users that it gets there. But you'll notice up here in the address bar, this hasn't changed. It is still on the sign up page. So that doesn't help us. So what we need to do is to be able to complete our funnel plan. So let's walk through how we do this. It's actually pretty easy. There are just a couple of steps. First of all, you need to make sure that your thank you page is complete and that it is uploaded on your server. So you can see that mine is up here at my isaacsonk.stoutmartech.com account, that it is my thankyou.php page. This is what we need, because we're gonna have to copy this address. Then we need to go into MailChimp. So I'm in MailChimp, and we need to get to where our forms are. So I'm gonna go to lists. I'm going to select my ICT 375 list because that's actually where uh, the list that's associated with this account is. You're just probably gonna have the one list, so don't pay attention to, to the fact that I have multiple lists. We're gonna go into sign up forms. We're gonna then go into form builder. So remember, before you were working in, in embedded forms, this time we're gonna just work in form builder. Now, once we're here, this gray box is a drop down to all sorts of other different types of forms and pages that we want. So, for example, we could have an unsubscribe form or an unsubscribe page as far as what we'd want that to look like. If we want our visitors to be able to update their profiles, that sort of information. But what we are looking for is this confirmation thank you page. So I'm going to select that. And by default, it just has this subscription confirmed. Thank you for subscribing. Well, we don't want it to do that. We want it to go to our thank you page. So I need to put my address in this link. So let's go find, here's my thank you page. It's already highlighted. So I'm going to copy it, come back over to my form page and paste it in here. So now it's in here, I can click save. Thing is, it's still not going to work quite right because there's one other step that we need to take. And that requires us to go back to our signup forms, go back to our embedded form, the one that we created that's on our web page, and you can do one of two things. So you can see that this is my form. It's got my email address, first name, last name. There's my phone number, the location, date. Those are those additional fields that I had. We need to click on disable all JavaScript. And what that does, so let me just off click it again. If I scroll all the way to the bottom of this embedded code, you're gonna see that there is some JavaScript down here. If I click disable all JavaScript, I'm still at the bottom, notice it's gone. So you can just click this and then recopy all of this. You can copy this, then go back to your file, 
So this is my file. This is where my email is. I can go in here and highlight everything and paste and that will work. But in my case, and this is why I'm giving you a couple of options, in my case, I also know that I added some custom styles to this that I don't want to have overwritten because I've already gone in and customized a bunch of things in here. If I just scroll all the way to the bottom, right till before it says end MC underscore embed sign up or end MailChimp form, there is your JavaScript right here. You can see where it says script. I am actually just going to go in here, highlight that and delete it. So now if I save this file and re-upload it, because this is gone, so either way that JavaScript is gone from the bottom of your form. So I'm going to save it. Now I need to go and upload it to my web space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find it. It's right here and I'm gonna go and update the one that's here. So I'm just gonna drag that over. It asked me to overwrite it, I overwrite it. Now if I go over here, I'm gonna refresh. I don't know for sure if this is the updated code. I assume it is, but one way you can check is by doing a right click and selecting view page source, which I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna go through it and scroll to where I find this comment and I'm gonna to look to see if there's any JavaScript down here, anything that says script. I don't see it, so I'm going to assume that this is my new updated form. If this is the case, let's add some information in here. I have to use a different email address because the other one's already been added to my list. And we'll add, I'll use my other cat, same phone number. Well, now here we'll make one up. We'll say this one was in Menominee, also on Sasquatch was really busy on April Fool's Day, and I'm just not going to leave a description. It's not a required field. I'm going to click on Submit Your Sighting. And so this time, it brings me to a new page that says, thank you for telling us about your experience. This is that custom page. This is how we want it to proceed. Just a recap of the steps that we need is in MailChimp. You'll need to go into Sign Up Forms. Go to Form Builder, find the confirmation thank you page, paste in the address of where your thank you page is located on your web space, then go back into Sign Up Forms, find your embedded form that you already created, and either click Disable All JavaScript or go into your code and remove the JavaScript from the actual code upload that to your web space and you should be set. In the end, your visitors should be getting your custom thank you page.